Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't ever miss an interesting video from us, such as this one. In this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 inhuman punishments imposed on slaves in America. Presently, the US has a great influence on every country and world institutions like UNO, IMF, World Bank, and UNESCO. Every country in the world respects and fears it due to its might and superiority. But there was a time when slavery was prevalent in American society and they were treated in almost all inhumanly ways imaginable. Slavery is a situation or a condition in which one human being is enslaved by another human being. Slavery in America was brought by Britishers when the British ruled the region. They forcefully brought 20-odd Africans against their will to enslave them. Now in the 21st century in many places slavery is considered illegal but this was not the case in the 17th and 18th centuries. These people were enslaved by their masters until released, which almost never happened. Further, they were often subjected to torture, physically, mentally and emotionally, sometimes even sexually. Generally, torture was employed to get some work done or simply because they could. But some also do it for fun or to show authority or dominance over some other person. The torturers were not subjected to any law or punishment. As a matter of fact, laws did not recognize slavery nor did they prevent or punish torturing of such slaves. And America was no different from other countries in this regard. People of color were then considered to be inferior and were used by the white people to do their chores. Africans were kidnapped from their home countries and were sent to British colonies where they were exploited in all possible ways. They were denied even the basic human rights such as the right to live with basic dignity, a healthy environment and education among others, which are considered to be common and mandatory for all. The time period of these torture mechanisms are not very clear but it continued to the last slave. 1. Cotton screw. The slaves were often punished by being attached to hooks on cotton screws. The hook would be tethered to a horse, which would trot about in circles, dragging the slave causing serious injury and sometimes even his death. 2. Thumb screw or thumbkin. Any revolt against the masters would be punished by employing this instrument, which was first used in early modern Europe. It is a simple vice, sometimes with protruding studs on the interior surfaces. Victims' thumbs, fingers, or toes were placed in the vice and slowly crushed. The thumbscrew was also applied to crush prisoners' big toes. The crushing bars were sometimes lined with sharp metal points to puncture the thumbs and inflict greater pain in the nail beds. Larger, heavier devices based on the same design principle were applied to crush feet. Often, the punishment was inflicted on not just the leader of the revolting movement. 3. Mask. When slaves tried to escape were recaptured, they were punished severely. The master would fix a tin mask on their faces which had small breathing holes and were asked to do some gruesome and despicable things which forced them to kill themselves or be scarred for life. 4. Neck Collar. Any wrongdoing was punished with a metal collar being placed around the necks of the slaves to remind them of their misbehavior. These collars had protruding spikes which made attending to fieldwork difficult and prevented them from sleep. They were also often injured by it. 5. Wooden Collar. It is similar to the neck collar, a wooden board taking the place of the metallic collar. However, this is considerably more debilitating as the wearer would be prevented not just from resting but any sort of movement is completely hindered as the two planks joined together to form the hole in the middle for the wearer's head is unimaginably heavy. This is also very disgraceful as the wearer is often punished in public with their deed and duration of the punishment pasted in their vicinity. 6. Blade. If they were suspected of stealing, their masters cut off their hands. The motive was to keep the victim alive and let him die from excessive blood loss and excruciating agony. It also served as a means of discouraging others from committing thievery. 7. Piercing. An incision was made in the victim's ribs and hooks were placed there. The slaves were then suspended from the walls. 
This ensured their painful and yet slow demise. 8. Iron Muzzle. Often known as the helmet, this instrument covers the face except for the eyes. It was originally used in Scotland to shame women publicly. It was used to prevent any communication on slaves that were considered to talk excessively or loudly. There were holes to facilitate breathing but they couldn't eat. 9 and 10. The most common and well-known punishments were whipping and raping. Slaves were whipped regularly and were raped frequently. Their rights were so prejudiced that they couldn't even be witnesses in cases involving the whites. Slaves were even asked to whip the other slaves or their family members on the direction of their master. Many times slaves were sold off like a commodity. For example, when the master couldn't repay the debt, he could sell the children of his slaves. As a result, often their families were split. Many were beaten until they become unconscious. Slaves were even denied medical treatment in case of serious injuries due to the action or inaction of their masters. Masters feared that if slaves were educated they would become rebellious and they would try to escape, that they would not listen to the dictates of their master and they would not be their slaves and so they and their children were denied even elementary education. There were some states where the slavery system was legalized and these states were known as slave states, whereas the states which did not legalize trade in slavery were known as free states. In the early 19th century, owners of female slave workers exploited them sexually. It was such a common practice that it was difficult for the outsiders to distinguish the child from the master's wife or that of a servant wife. Many slaves were beaten if their quota for that day was not finished. Many slaves' body parts were burnt if they were not able to complete the given assignments. Slaves were not allowed to move freely. In some extreme cases, slaves were strangled to death. The master seller, was responsible for telling the buyer about the physical deformity if any or any other problem the slave was suffering from. American Civil War was essentially due to giving equal rights to them. It was fought between the two factions of the US, the North and the South. While the North was in favor of giving equal rights, the South believed that it was against their constitutional rights. Thank you for watching. Do like and share this video. If you know any facts about slavery or want to share your views, please leave them below in the comment section. We will see you next time with another topic.